In this video, I'll be discussing about another important SAS concept, which are nesting and inheritance. SAS allows you to nest the CSS selectors like you may have seen in HTML. CSS does not have nesting functionality, but with SAS you can actually nest the CSS selectors and in that way you can maintain the proper format of your coding. I will discuss the inheritance as we go on with the coding. So right now you can see that we have few colorful styling texts here and here we have just the default texts because I have removed the classes from them as you can see. So what are we going to do is let's say I want this h1 wrapped inside a normal div element. So I'm going to do that and for this second h1 I'll say I want this inside span tag maybe so let's do that I'll say span here and paste the h1 here now let's say I want to give stylings to these text without giving them classes like here you can see I have given classes to all of them for stylings but not here I don't want to give class here for stylings also, I cannot use the H1 selector for styling because it will apply the styling to all the other H1 as well, including these two. Then you might think that you can apply stylings like this, which will work, of course, but there is actually a better way to do that while using SAS. So, here let me add another heading, I'll say H2, just so you can get more clarity while understanding the nesting. Now I will go to the styles.scss file and here I'll say div and will give curly brackets. Inside this I'll say h1. Let me copy this styling and I'll change the color here as well as the font. Now to give stylings to H2 I will follow the same approach. I will change the color here also. Let me give few more styles to this. Similarly, I'll give span here and we'll apply the stylings. I also want to apply the hover with this H1. So what I'm going to say is instead of giving hover like this, I'll just add an ampersand sign. So by this it will attach the hover to the parent element that is h1 here. Let's save this and check the browser. So now you can see that we have applied the stylings with the help of nesting. It is very useful. And if you look at the CSS file, you can see it looks like any other normal CSS. So this is what working with SAS looks like. The syntax is the programming approach is just like any other front end programming languages which we use. Now let's see the inheritance with SAS. Let me add few stylings to this text. Now let's say if I want this stylings 
here in this text as well. So rather than copy and pasting it here, you can easily inherit these stylings by simply giving at extends keyword here and along with that giving the class name which we want to extend like this. So by giving extend keyword you want to extend this class here as well. So that's pretty much it. That's how you give the inheritance. Let's check the browser. So this is how you can make use of nesting and inheritance within SAS.